So this contains, contains liquid nitrogen, which is uh, somewhere between negative 196 and negative 210 degrees Celsius. Right here, just a bag of air in a test tube. We put that in liquid nitrogen and wait. And according to kinetic molecular theory, as atoms move slower and slower because they're moving colder, because they're colder, uh, they tend to get closer and closer together. As they get closer and closer together, they liquefy. So we should be able to see liquid air in the bottom of this test tube later. You can already see that the bag isn't as stiff as it used to be. And I can see it. It's actually getting smaller and smaller. Yep, you can definitely see the liquefied air. Let's see you guys can too. Down at the bottom of the. That there's the liquefied air in the test tube. You can see I've got the whole apparatus here. But that's nitrogen. There's a little bit of solid carbon dioxide if you look for it. Uh, and there's probably some liquid oxygen in there because there's oxygen in the air that we breathe too. There we go. So we can watch this bag as it inflates. As those molecules get warmer and warmer that are liquid, they're going to turn into a gas and they're boiling away. And they'll refill this plastic bag pretty quickly. At this point, I think that you can still see the solid carbon dioxide. Oops, so much rust. You still see the solid carbon dioxide right at the bottom there. That's going to take the longest to uh, gasify again because that's going to go straight from a solid into a gas. And as you can see, the bag is nice and charged again.